middle-aged lady who presented with right-sided dense plegia and aphasia. MRI showed deep watershed infarcts. CT angiography showed that the ICA was occluded in the supraglenoid segment. The intracranial vasculature was open. In view of the large deficit, it was decided that the collateral flow was poor and therefore taken up form mechanical thrombectomy. We decided to check the collateral flow and right IC injection showed nearly tight stenosis at the origin as well as the supraclonoid segment. There was a significant venous phase delay in the left hemisphere, suggesting that the ACOM collateral was extremely poor and the need for opening up the left ICA. Initial left IC injection shows occluded artery at the supraclonoid segment. A cerebase 088 guide catheter was taken over a Sophia aspiration catheter and a 021 microcatheter and microwire. Initial injection showed an occlusion at the supraclinoid segment. It was strongly suspected to be intracranial atherosclerotic disease and therefore a loop of a microwire was used to cross the segment to avoid dissection of the plaque and subadventitial entry. There was significant resistance although we were able to go across the lesion and then take the microcatheter beyond the occluded segment. And this is the initial microcatheter run. Following this, the stent retriever was taken within the microcatheter and deployed across the occluded segment. As we strongly suspected atherosclerotic etiology, we left the stent in place nearly for 10 to 15 minutes to have a stent angioplasty and infused GP2B3A antagonist. We nearly gave 10 uh, milligram of apsiximab. Following this, a combined technique of aspiration and stent retriever was used to debulk the clot across the stenosis and the immediate post-procedure angiography showed that there was adequate recanalization of the supraclinoid segment. However, there was a rebound of the stenosis within minutes and a balloon angioplasty was performed. Following angioplasty and full dose reappro, the artery was patent. We noticed a small dissecting flap in the petrocavernous segment. This is non-flow limiting even after one hour of observation. The patient was kept on overnight infusion of Riopro and the following day angiography showed good anti-grade flow into the left MCA territory. Post-procedure CT did not show any expansion in infarct or hemorrhage 